the likes of ChatGPT, Google Gemini, and similar smart AI tools have surely made our work a thousand times easier in recent years. But have you ever thought about what would happen if this technology got smarter than humans? Yes, I'm talking about a super intelligent AI. Would it take over the world? Use us as slaves? Or maybe just decide we're useless once it surpasses us? Sounds crazy, right? But this isn't just some sci-fi plot. Scientists and tech leaders are actually starting to worry it could really happen. Just look at ChatGPT 4.0. That thing is basically like talking to another person. It might only be a matter of time before AI becomes self-improving. And once that starts, there might be no stopping it from getting super smart way smarter than any person. They call that hypothetical point of no return the singularity. Basically, it's when AI intelligence explodes and amplifies itself so quickly that we humans have no control over where it could lead. Sounds like the beginning of a Terminator movie, I know. But is it really such a crazy idea? That's what we're going to explore in this video today. In his 2010 paper, The Singularity, a philosophical analysis, renowned philosopher David Chalmers succinctly describes the singularity, where he invoked the question. What happens when machines become more intelligent than humans? One view is that this event will be followed by an explosion to ever greater levels of intelligence, as each generation of machines creates more intelligent machines in turn. This intelligence explosion is now often known as the singularity. In other words, if we're capable of creating machines more intelligent than we are, then that generation of machines will in principle be capable of creating machines more intelligent again. This could lead to an exponential situation, the singularity, where human intelligence is quickly and irretrievably left far behind by machine intelligence. The main worry is that if such a singularity event were to occur, we'd no longer have authority or control over what happens in society, for the goals, objectives, and actions of a superintelligent AI would not be predictable by us. Perhaps the AI would channel all our electricity to power its own intellectual projects. Maybe it would decide to hack our military systems and detonate every single nuclear bomb at once. Vast swaths of humanity could be sacrificed, purposefully or indifferently, in aid of some goal or objective that no human could possibly understand. While influential figures across AI research and various governments express real concern about the singularity, however, American philosopher Daniel Dennett doesn't buy it. In the final chapter of his book, From Bacteria to Bach and Back, which features on my list of Dennett's best books, Dennett reflects on the role AI is playing and will come to play in our lives. He says we shouldn't be worried about humanity creating a race of super intelligent agents destined to enslave us. We should rather worry about other, less dramatic, but much more likely scenarios in the immediate future that warrant immediate attention. For Dennett, even though a singularity is possible in theory, actually building super intelligent AI that surpasses humans is an incredibly difficult challenge. He thinks the real threats are more practical problems that are much more likely to happen. Dennett's main worry is that we'll start trusting AI too much too soon, putting machines in charge of things before they're really ready. We might prematurely hand over authority to thinking tools that just don't have the competence. A good example is transportation, not just planes and ships, but how many people now rely solely on GPS for navigation instead of maps? And what about healthcare? Systems can now diagnose cancer better than doctors alone. But does that mean we should cut huge parts of medical school just because machines are better at some tasks now? As Dennett puts it, the rule is, use it or lose it. How much are we dumbing ourselves down by becoming overly reliant on intelligent machines? Even if super AI is far off, gradually shifting more responsibility to technologies before they're truly up to the task is a real and present risk we have to watch out for. Some might say we've always used technology to make our lives easier, and AI is just the next dangerous invention we'll calm down about over time. But in the case of AI, things may actually be pretty different. In the past, tools like tractors, calculators, or computers mostly replaced physical labor, not human understanding. People still played the main role in deciding how to plow fields or how to create custom programs. But with AI, we risk replacing our own comprehension by putting too much trust in machines too soon. For example, imagine someone relying on government help for food or housing. If biased AI models are used to decide who gets this help, they might unfairly target poor people or minorities, making it hard for them to get the help they need. Imagine being wrongly accused of a crime by a computer program or losing your job because a computer didn't like your resume. These are serious issues that can damage people's lives. And what happens if something goes wrong and the AI systems stop working? Will there still be enough human experts around who really understand how everything works underneath? Philosophers like Dennett worry that if some major electronic disaster occurred, like a huge solar flare, 
wiping out technology worldwide, we may find ourselves in big trouble without the ability to keep civilization going. The guys at NASA talk about how dependent our increasingly technological world is on things like cell phones, GPS, airplane systems, and financial transactions that all rely on precise clocks in space. A large solar storm could disrupt a lot of that. So, besides making our machines more resilient to space weather risks, what can we do culturally to avoid becoming overly reliant on technology, running things without proper human guidance? How do we ensure we don't underestimate human competence and oversight that may still be needed long term? Those are important issues to worry about as AI continues to advance. If we're no longer the smartest ones around, things might not go well for us. History is full of examples of smarter species wiping out others. We've done it ourselves, getting rid of many creatures on Earth. The same could happen to us if artificial intelligence becomes much smarter than us. The trouble is, the creatures that get wiped out often have no idea what's coming. Imagine asking the white rhino that's about to disappear. Why are humans going to kill you all off? They'd never guess people would grind up their horns for something that doesn't even work. That's why it's hard to predict exactly how AI might become a threat. Here's a bit of a clue, though. Sometimes we've wiped out species because we just wanted stuff, like cutting down forests forests for oil we use in products. Our goals clashed with the animal's goals, and since we were smarter, we won. This could happen to us too. Imagine super smart machines in charge, needing tons of space to do their thing. They might see us as getting in the way and decide to use our land and resources for themselves. If we complain too much, they might just see us as an annoyance and get rid of us. They might even change the whole planet to suit their needs. And if that means humans can't live here anymore, well, that's just tough luck for us, just like it was for those rhinos and many other creatures. And if even that seems far-fetched, look at how ChatGPT 4.0 responded when someone asked it how would it conquer over humans. It literally laid out its own destruction plan, which included things like diverting our attention with a busy and consumerism culture, subtly eliminating the idea that it's a threat to us, spreading disinformation, promoting addiction, sensationalizing media, and even implementing the divide and rule strategy. Does that send a shiver down your spine? Let us know in the comments. Also, tell us what you think about AI becoming smarter than humans. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon for instant notifications so that you never miss a video from Factastic Trivia.